Kyle here with Blooming Earth Studios giving another uh, modeling tutorial. Today we're going to go over modeling in Arch. So uh, let's begin. It's pretty simple. Uh, let's start off with a polygon uh, cube. I'm just going to drag it out and just put a general square. And um, I'm going to go ahead and come up here and delete this face. And come to the object mode and let's duplicate that with command D and just pull this over to the side like this now uh, in order to do this we're going to have to come up select both our objects come to mesh and combine this will only work if they are the same object which making it combine uh, does and let's come up here to edge and shift select the top edge of the first pillar and the second pillar. Now we're going to come up here to edit mesh, go to bridge, and go to your option box. And we're going to want to have it on smooth path. And um, for the moment, let's just leave it on five divisions. You may have it something else, maybe one, you know, so let's put five, and smoothing angle, I said 20, but it can really be kind of whatever you want it for the moment. Uh, so let's go ahead and press bridge, and as we can see, we have an arch. Now, if you want, this is not uh, very smooth, we can come over here to divisions, over here, let's bring that up, let's say to, well, let's just say 11. Actually, now let's go up to 12. So, as you can see, there's this uh, weird little glitch going on here. This is a standard Maya glitch. Um, there's really no problem with it. The way we're going to get rid of that is by going to our object mode. And uh, we're going to now select this, right click, come down to assign existing material, Lambert 1, and that will fill back in the space. And, um,. There you have it. That right there is your basic arch. Now, go a little bit more in depth. You can do a few cool things uh, with the bridge tool. Let's go ahead and duplicate this object. Let's pull it out in, and let's uh, let's shrink this object just a little bit doesn't really matter how, what size, I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it. And let's duplicate this again, and uh, let's put it on this side. So let's say you are modeling some sort of arched hallway, it's got different sizes. Um, you might want to try and do uh, some quick modeling rather than trying to do every individual thing real quick. So. Let's go ahead and shift select all of these and combine them again. Because again, in order to use the bridge tool, they must all be the same object. And uh, let's start off with this. We can, oops. So we can select the face as well as doing the edges. And let's come up here and press bridge again. And as you can see, this creates a nice smooth curve. Let's do it on this side as well. You can get some uh, very nice effects um, doing this. It's very simple. And uh, it generally creates um, everything is pretty even. Uh, you don't have to do too much tweaking. It's a lot easier than just trying to extrude it on your own. And it allows for some really quick development of uh, some shapes. So um, we could go <clears throat> really into this. I'll, I'll just do one more quick little thing, just to give you some ideas. Um, right here but um, th this is a really simple tool really versatile uh, I like using it and 
action and uh, there you have it the uh, making your own arch as well as uh, a nice little introduction to the bridge tool so um, if you have any questions or comments please uh, just let me know blooming earth studios uh, dot com all right thanks